Um, I'm, I'm looking at the nodes, you know, because we do have the eclipses in Aries and Libra this year. So uh, the majority of them anyway. And so that is a big year for Aries. Um, I do think that, you know, looking at their chart, I do see a uh, you versus me focus. So I do see like a relationship focus where, you know, where are we going to build um, our own greatness in relation to somebody else? And how are we sharing that with someone? So I do feel like Aries, if you're not, if you're not in the right relationship for you, like, you know, that's going to become very, very obvious. I'm going to have to um, end and, um, you know, and, and new beginnings are going to be needed. But I do um, feel like that it is prosperous um, once you come out of your um, eclipse cycle for another 18, um, you know, for another uh, eight, seven years, eight years. But I do feel like this is going to be the um, good beginnings, good start on projects, um, anything that you want to accomplish. Um, Pluto is going to move into your 11th house, which is going to really change up your social groups and your gains, your income gains. So if you are an Aries who has recently started a business or, um, you know, like if you, you have businesses, like there's going to be a switch up of some of the um, maybe the groups that you're working with or, you know, your income. And, and that could be, um, you know, that could be a dramatic shift where you're kind of getting rid of the um superfluous you're just trying to get to like you know focus on um what is important which groups are important to you um mercury retrogrades for you guys in the first house the fifth house and the ninth house so you know your philosophies on life um romance children that you have you know there might be a lot of areas out there thinking about having children um so this might be one of your focuses and um, how you're coming across to other people, too. 